This is Jared Emick, who won a Tony, a Drama Desk, and Theatre World Award for starring as young Joe Hardy in Damn Yankees. I won my Tony for uh, Featured Actor in a Musical. So the people I was up against, uh, Jonathan Freeman, Gary Beach, you know, uh, Gary had some like great stuff, you know, in, in Beauty and the Beast, uh, but they were like kind of featured roles, so I had a lot of time to establish. And, and as Joe, if you've seen the show, you come on, you're like, hey, hey, how are you? It's nice to meet you. I'm so glad to be here. And I leave. See you later. And they sing and dance about you for you know, <laughs> And then you come back on, you're like, hey, geez, that was great, man. Boy, it's good to be here. I'll see you later. And they sing and dance some more about you. So it feels like you like, never left. I get into the last call, my agent says, yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. Or they call me, my agent calls me and says, they're interested in seeing you for this. And I was always like, did you call them or did they call me? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, you know, so you're always kind of like, you know, worried about that, but you just want to like play that, because I'm happy, I'm excited to do everything. I'm like a work whore, I'll, I, I just, <laughs> the process to me is great. Let the agents and everything, and let them, you know, speak openly about it, because I don't have any, you know, I don't have any preconceived notion. As far as the Tony, they can't ever take it away from me. And uh, I, it, for me, it says, like, I, I won't drop the ball. I've been here. It's like, it's, you know. Jared Emick, work for, ladies and gentlemen. I was dead set on trying to find some representation, you know, and get, you know, get your pictures. Mine are more black and white. Um, <laughs> And uh, you know, get those pictures and get the resume and get get an agent so they can at least send you out. I thought if I can just get my chance. I remember actually having an audition for Johnson and Liff when it was like Johnson oh, Liff yeah, Zerman, sure. like, um, and and having an audition for uh, Miss Saigon before they like opened it. And I was like petrified because I wasn't ready. I, I didn't have anything prepared, and I didn't want to audition for Jeffrey Johnson and and and, and Andy Zerman and Vinnie Liff without being. 110% like I was going to like nail it. So yeah, that was one of the first like auditions that I was like, oh, let me just wait a little while. So did you not do it? So I did not go audition for it. And then I, I waited and I was ready. And then they had a slot open on the third national tour of Les Mis. What, you, what was your uh, piece? I was flag boy. Yeah, I was in the back. You know? <laughs> you're in South Dakota, you're a kid. When do you realize you got something? And when do you realize, oh, I'm a long way from Broadway? And what do you do about it? Well, I never, I never really thought any of those things. I, I, I mean, where I was coming from was, you know, the tractor, you know, an, an 860 case, you know, that out in the middle of nowhere. I never knew anything about Stage Door Manor. Or I never knew anything. I didn't realize that there were places you could go called conservatories that just focused on this kind of stuff. And I thought that everybody could do that, that everybody could like sing and, and you know, <laughs> and say some like lines and.